Hello, my name's Matthew Hodgkinson, and I'm here at World Hydrogen Week in Copenhagen, Denmark. I'm joined here today by Sam Ernest and Anastasia Pansazopoulou. We form part of the hydrogen analytics team at S&P Global. And this evening, I'm just here joining them to provide a couple of insights into what we've seen today. So as part of some of the streams that have been going on today, we've been learning about the latest developments in technology in the hydrogen industry. And so, Sam, if you could share some of your insights over the next minute or two, that'd be great. Yeah, thank you, Matt. Um, and so something that we've been seeing in quite a few of the sessions and around uh, the expo today is that uh, technology has really continued to improve you know, year on year versus what we were seeing you know, maybe last year and the year before um, with improvements in uh, electrolyzer efficiencies, improvements in terms of modularization of um, projects and of electrolysis um, equipment, for example, uh, and then we're seeing some new technologies again reach that next level of development. Uh, a good example is solid oxide electrolysis, which we've heard a lot about today uh, in various sessions and in uh, speaking to various um, players here. Uh, and that's a technology which there's now an appreciation really does have uh, a use case um, within certain industries. Uh, and we're seeing that uh, really gain momentum. Great, thanks, Sam. Uh, in addition to what we've been talking about today, we've also heard some developments around projects. These are going to require a lot of that technology improvement that Sam has been talking about. But Anna, if you could share a few insights into project development, that'd be great as well. Um, I think my key takeaway from today is that, you know, we're seeing real progress happening on real projects, you know, taking on pragmatic solutions on a case by case basis. And um, Another key message is that moving beyond from the production side of the hydrogen value chain, we're hearing very important talks and very important um, decisions and interests being made to other important aspects such as certification, you know, ensuring that the hydrogen deployment um, occurs safely and at a level playing field. And yeah, I think it's, it's been very interesting to hear and I feel like a lot of um, inter interesting conversations have taken place today and uh, real progress on the uh, hydrogen deployment front. Thanks, Anna. So as one final point that we wanted to talk about, so we've gone through the project development side, we've gone through some of the technology developments that we've been seeing, but it wouldn't also be right unless we highlighted some of the challenges that the hydrogen industry is facing right now. And with that, I'm gonna pass over to Sam, who's gonna talk about some of the challenges that he's learned about today with regards to the industry. Yes, of course. And uh, uh, you're, you're right in the sense that there are obviously still challenges with the emerging hydrogen industry um, that we're seeing uh, spoken about in a lot of the talks today. Uh, one of the major ones which continues to be the case is uh, being able to, for projects to find um, off takers who are willing to agree to sort of long term uh, contracts. Uh, and really the the projects are facing the challenge of how do you make um, those mainstream nth of a kind projects bankable uh, and that's something that's still going to continue to develop. There's been lots of discussions about um, policies and how they're uh, enablers or maybe in some cases you know provide uh, extra challenges for projects looking to develop further and get towards FID and get towards um, uh, operation uh, but that's that's a couple of those couple of those challenges that we're seeing. Great, thanks Sam. And thank you very much for watching this video. We hope to join you with a few more insights from World Hydrogen leaders here in Copenhagen later this week.